All right, a lot of you use Spotify to stream all of your music, and the PC app for Spotify is far from perfect. It has a lot of issues, but one issue that has come to our attention a lot is the Spotify search crashing. And well, that's what this video is all about. Today, we're going to talk about all of the different ways that you can basically fix your Spotify search not working on your Windows PC. So, this is Coral. You're watching Guide in Tech. Let's get started. All right, let's start with the basics. One of the most common ways that an app basically misbehaves on your system is because of a bad system boot. So all you need to do is reboot the Windows PC that you have. So in order to do that, just go to the start menu, click on the power button, and now click on restart. And now your Windows will restart and you just open the Spotify app again to see if the Spotify search is working or not. So if that did not work, sometimes what happens is that the app and all of its data, basically the saved passwords or the history or anything related to that, can often cause the app to misbehave. So in order to check if the Spotify search is not working because of some erroneous browser data, simply open the Chrome browser in the incognito mode and sign into Spotify again. Then just check if Spotify search is working or not. And if the error still persists, your Spotify app just might be outdated. And in order to fix that, it's always better to just check for an update for the Spotify app on your PC. To check for an update, just go to search and type Microsoft Store. Then open the Microsoft Store app. In the sidebar, click on Library. This will open a list of apps. And at the top, you will see the section of apps which have an update available. If an update is available, go ahead, download the update, and then see if the Spotify search is working or not. And of course, another cause for this problem could be just a bad Wi-Fi connection. So it's not that the Spotify search is not working, it's just too slow and it's not showing up. To check this, you can simply go to your Wi-Fi settings and make sure that you're connected to the desired network. To add to that, you could also just go ahead and check your network speeds in order to see if the network connection is just too slow. Next up, if you're someone who uses VPN, it could be that the VPN services are slowing down the internet speed on your device, causing the Spotify search to not work. And in order to deal with that, just disable the VPN services and check if your Spotify search is working or not. To do this, simply go to your VPN app and click on disconnect and exit the app. VPN services will now be disabled on your device and then you can obviously check Spotify and see if Spotify search is working or not. Next up, there's also a setting in Windows called metered connections and if enabled, it puts limits on the data that can be used on your Windows PC and that can also cause Spotify to not work properly. So to disable metered connections, go to search and type settings. From here, open the settings app, then go to network and internet in the sidebar and click on Wi-Fi. Now click on Wi-Fi properties, scroll down and turn the toggle off for metered connection. Your device's connection will no longer be metered. And now check the Spotify app to see if Spotify search works or not. Next up, if you have disabled background users permissions, then that can also result in an app malfunctioning because certain apps require access to data in order to function properly in the background. And to turn off the background users restrictions for Spotify Windows app, click on the search bar and type in settings. Then open the settings app. From here, go to apps and click on installed apps. Now scroll down to Spotify and click on the three dot icon. Here, select advanced options. Go to the background apps permissions setting and from the drop down, select always. Background users restrictions for Spotify windows will be off. And now you can go ahead and recheck if the Spotify search is working or not. And if the problem still persists, you can always just go and clear the Spotify cache. Clearing cache data can always, always help in fixing minor bugs and issues that show up in apps. To clear the cache of the Spotify Windows app, go to search, type Spotify and open the Spotify app on your desktop. Click on the profile icon and then click on settings. Scroll down and click on clear cache. And now from the prompt that appears, just click on clear cache again to confirm. Next up, a lot of issues on Windows can be easily fixed just by logging out and then logging in to the app. To log out of the app, just click on the downward pointing arrow in the top right corner of the Spotify app on your Windows PC. Then just select log out. Now, if the problem after logging in still persists, you can just go ahead, uninstall the app and then reinstall it. To do that, just open the search menu, type in settings and open the settings app. Select apps in the sidebar and go to installed apps. Scroll down to Spotify and click on the three dot icon. Now click on uninstall. Again, click on uninstall to confirm. And after that, all you need to do is reinstall the app. To do that, you can use Microsoft Store or the Spotify site itself. The links to both of these things can be found in the description box. Well, if you're still here and it still did not work, the last thing you need to do is just contact Spotify support. On the Spotify support page, you can go through the community post already available, talk with experts about any problem relating to Spotify, and even post about your queries or issues separately. 
And well, that's pretty much it. If you got your fix, like the video and maybe consider subscribing. But if you have another fix, just comment about it. I'll see you in the next one.